Okay. Yes, I have played Clock Tower 3. The evil mother of slash death. Why did that sound like a robot? With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. <laughs> trail of terror stretches across Europe from Norway to England. Okay, so those of you who don't, well, let's let's watch this. The rest of the game doesn't sound robot -y. it's just that intro for some reason. One after another, the horrifying murders continue. <laughs> we'll make it through this game of murder alive. Okay. Clock Tower. This says 1997. Fear is fascinating. Okay. Okay. I did it. There's a there's some white lines though. And it's making me wild, so I have to try something real quick. I want to see if I can get that to go away. We're going to not hear any... Nope. Why? Why do you have one... Why do you have one... Um... Does this work better? No. Okay, that doesn't work better. I'm going to... I'm going to lose it if there's one pixel. You all can see that pixel, right? I have a mouse. Okay. Crop left like two and then crop up like five. There. Great. All right. Very sorry about any delays. Typically, I like to have everything ready before the stream starts. Unfortunately, we had issues with the capture card and then also issues with the PlayStation and then also issues with everything else that I tried to do ever. Um, so for those of you who are new to the stream or don't, we're not viewers back in 2011. I streamed this game eight year, nine years ago. Um, and I haven't played it since. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna see if it reads my PlayStation. Okay, it's reading the memory cards. Okay, so we're gonna play the game and we're mostly playing this game partially because people donated for the subathon at the beginning of the month. But additionally, we're playing this game so I can delete my other playthrough. So if you're watching this playthrough, just remember there used to be another playthrough and it is gone forever. That's a good question, Ballerberg. I have no idea. In 2011, things were very different. Let's heck and go. I am excite. I'm also very excited. Professor Bark. Professor Bark. What Thanks, Wosip, for doing, 12 professor? months, a whole year. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. <laughs> I must know the truth of what happened. 
She can't take any more of this today, Professor. Wait, why can my cursor only go up and down right now? All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Got minor problems. Uh, why won't my cursor move to the left or the right? This is a problem. Oh man, we might have to restart. Hold on. What happened to my gamepad? Wait, what? It... Dude, this is so cursed, everybody. I'm really sorry for how cursed this is. This is the most cursed thing that's happened to me. Maybe I shouldn't have ever picked up this game, but again, I think this game is cursed. Okay, let me configure my game pads. Oh, my going right just, no, wait, what? Yeah, going right on my controller was just wrong. It was set to some other random keypad. Whoa, I'm so impressed. How did that even happen? I played Rule of Rose. I didn't think Rule of Rose was that cursed. Okay. This is it. It can't be cursed anymore. It's got to work. It's just got to work now. It just has to be fine. I let, I let a friend borrow a copy, my copy of Rule of Rose, and I'm never getting it back again because they moved to Cleveland. Okay. Can I move to the right? If I can move to the right, we'll be good. Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Was Rule of Rose burned in? Yay, okay. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. No longer cursed. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. But we actually can't skip. Lock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. We can't skip anything. I must know the truth of what happened. I love this voice, this dude. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. This playthrough is cursed and we're like, right. we're an hour in, but we're really two minutes in. One thing, Helen. Maybe her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. So cursed. Okay, we can play the game now. Hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. Does that mean someone did a pee pee? I'm trying to not select that. A giant pair of scissors is on the desk. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. I made that same ammonia joke the first playthrough. No. It's the one he used to slash up his victims. Did I really make the same joke last time? Great. I'm glad. Anyone who's watched that playthrough enough, please tell me anytime I replicate jokes. A file cabinet. Patients' records are kept here. What's this? There's a memo stuck between the pages. You found hint number one.
the clock tower murders, the mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Materials. <clears throat> okay. Just turn the light off. Just a light switch. Okay. Let's leave the room, I guess. Look, I got out of the room. Did I get out of the room faster than I did nine years ago? I don't know. My laboratory. Oh, it's the fax machine sound that will never end. Vaguely remember that. I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Oh, I thought that the blue shirt person was me. A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Can I take it? Uh, the answer to that evidently is no. It's not a fax machine noise, by the way. It's a printer noise. I realize that now. Let's do some research. Oh, that's not what I meant to click on at all. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Um, it seems Harris has gone somewhere. Okay. As I was saying before, I have played... Oh, it's the same thing. I have played all the clock tower, every single clock tower game. Again, it's been 11 years since I played this one, though. Can I talk to either of these people? Okay, I'll go talk to her first, I guess. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. Oh, that's it? Okay, great. Uh, that's like straight up as a skull right there. Do y'all see that? Scissor Man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. <laughs> you're, you're rude. <laughs> Professor. Oh, his name is Danny. That's my husband's name now. Did you have an appointment for an interview? Uh, did I? I don't think so. But okay. Helen's desk. Oh, that's it? Okay. Can I go over this way? All right, goodbye. There's still something I need to do in here. Okay. Is it whatever this piece of paper is on top of this computer? A stuffed animal looks like a prize won at a fair. I called Danny a Ken doll. He does look like a Ken doll. Okay, um... It's really funny, some of you know this game more than I do because you watched me play it more than once and I only played it once. There's still something I need to do. Oh no, I, this is the room I'm going to be stuck in forever, isn't it? Oh shit. Okay, uh, can I go over this way? Have I gotten smarter in the last 11 years? Probably not. Well, it was, it was 2011, right? So it's been nine years. I only have a cursor right now. Okay. Um, so it's not the mask. Can I do I have to talk to you again? Okay. Like just go ahead, friend. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Oh, do I have to just talk to him multiple times? Huh, I guess they want to sensationalize this. Scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> huh? Um, just a joke. Okay, it was Danny all along. You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Okay, can I go now? Did I just really need to talk to this dude multiple times? There's still something you need to do? Oh, come on. In here. Okay, he's out of dialogue now. Can I go back here? Okay, so I looked at his computer. I looked at the mask. I looked at him. 
I looked at this. Can I go back over here? No. Can I just turn the lights off and go home? I don't know if I called this one Let's Endure. I definitely called the other one Let's Endure. Clock Tower 2 is way, way worse than this game. Do I have to talk to you again? What's your, whatever your name is, ma'am? You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? You have to wait for this massive print job? I feel like it. Okay, I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. How slow do they think I read? Uh, yes, you're right. I wish I had a cute kid sister, a cute kid brother would be okay too. Okay, so I guess that's all the dialogue for her. Yeah, I definitely got soft locked and broke to Clock Tower 2 a shit ton of times. Uh, I had to restart it at one point and it was the most infuriating thing. That is what I remember about that game. Can I leave now? Can I leave now? I just had to talk to them. Oh my god. The only good part about Clock Tower 2 is the I'm going to kill you. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Okay. It took me 30 minutes to do that the first time. Wow, that was much faster than yes. Can I not can I not go here? Do I have to take the stairs? Not here? Okay. The first time I made a comment about her comment that they look like sisters and accidentally said they scissor each other. I feel like that probably wasn't an accident, but it's also very possible it was. Can I not go this way? Hey, do I have to take this what the do I have to talk to him again? Um, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. It's always so gloomy. He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then, okay, so that's the end of, so, oh my God, do I have to just keep talking to people too many times? So I mentioned this, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but if you're watching this, you weren't there yesterday. Um, we, I watched a playthrough of Remothered and let me, remo the second Remothered game, not the first one. And it is abhorrent, it is so bad. How do I get out of here? How do I go to the first floor? How do I make this dude leave? Like, hello? Oh, oh, finally, finally, okay. Having to talk to somebody over and over again is just bad game design. Okay. Um, I have not seen the first um, Remothered. I only watched a video, I only watched a playthrough of the second one because I heard it was really bad. Um, it looks okay, but then when you play it, it's really awful. Oh, Professor. Who is this dude? I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Whoa. Oh, he's cameraing me. I thought he was like holding up fists. Have you been able to figure out the murderer? It, who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her uh, leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about. The scissor man. And whether he really exists. 
or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Okay, so he is like, uh, what do you call it? Okay, yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. The reading of this text is so hard. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. Uh, it's the fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. Oh my god, it's so hard to read this, please. But that doesn't make him, him an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but I kept... I keep trying to say that he's like Slender Man and I haven't gotten to it yet. Interview over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry it couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Oh, that, okay, that's it. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. He's supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Oh my god. Please. Um, yeah. Nightcry was Clock Tower on a boat. We played Nightcry a couple years back. I played a little bit of it, but I could barely deal with it. The amount of Nightcry we played was maybe an hour at most, and then I gave it back to Steam for my money back. Yeah, the text boxes were definitely designed for a katakana or something different than English, and they just were like, fuck it. Okay, let's go back to the lab and see what's on the slab. I 100% guarantee I made that joke nine years ago, too. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? <laughs> Just reading. This is so ridiculous. Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Is there something I can do for you? Okay. That's maybe the only times I have to talk to him. Can I please take the statue? That's right. I still need to get... Okay, I guess not. Opinion on the statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. It reads like shit in Japanese, too. Thank you for letting me know that. When I refunded Nightcry, I put the reason as this game is neither fun nor playable. I mean, it, it is true. I'm not surprised that's what I said. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. Great. Please just pick it up. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Great. Please. Ask Harris. Yes, no. Yes, please. All right. I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Oh, we finally did something, everybody. All right, Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? Just if you find any man, you see a man named Rick, show this to him. Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything? <laughs> Just do you know anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. Show Rick your dick? No, don't do that. All right, I should probably go to the therapy room. Um, I want to get the... Can I get the mask? Can I go back and grab the mask? I want to get the mask. Can I grab the clock tower mask and put it on? No, 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 give it to me. I can't go back this way? Oh, I'm angry. Hold on. Can I click over here? That would be sick, I guess, unless you're slick and quick. Oh, I can't go back there. Damn. I want to get the clock tower mask and put it on. Scare the shit out of this little boy. There, what was up 
here. No, don't. I want to see what was up here. Oh, it's just them. I'm, like trying to see if there's anything else. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? His name is Edward. No, I call him Ab Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. <laughs> Yo, kid, your name is Edward now? I don't give a shit. It's your name? I mean, there, he's right, though. It's hard to do stuff if you don't have a name. Um, now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Oh God, it's so slow. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. Oh God, okay. Reverse dead naming. Oh my God, it is. I hope it saves. Guess we'll find out. All right, Helen isn't home yet. I think I'll go out for a while. Okay. So in Cl in uh, Remothered 2, the character's name is Jennifer, one of them, and I thought that was really interesting. Um, where shall I go? All right, the library, the hotel, the newspaper, the university research building, or the university. Let's go. Can we go to the research building? I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. I don't know why. That's just what I picked. We're going back to where the guy was. Should have called him Jennifer too. Mm, that's true. I don't remember a little boy in the original game, though. Like at all. Hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Can I, like... Go in here? No? Also, there is no sound in this game right now, so don't, like, it's not that you're not hearing anything. There's literally no sound. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Original game, I mean the 1995 one for Super Nintendo. My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Yeah, I don't think it's been like 10... Has it been 10 years since the first game? Um, okay, so that was the university research building. Let's go to the newspaper company. Oh, I love first, the, the original game. If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fair. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. Why is she calling him Edward? I wonder what kind of boy he is. I guess it has been 10 years. Norway International Hotel. I don't remember a hotel from this game at all. Like, even a little bit. Is this boy Edward? Okay, but he's not actually, though. Right? Right? He just is saying he is. Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. Oh, my name is Kay. I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. Oh, I really want to play Sweet Home. I've never played it before. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Hello. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. <laughs> this poor child. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of... What happened? Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Okay. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Okay. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. 
Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Oh my god. Bye-bye. Uh, god. Okay. No wonder I don't remember the hotel. Okay. Uh, library, I guess? Metropolitan Library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head. He's just the head. Librarian. That's a cool-ass looking library. Can we, like, play this game yet? Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book? Or something? <laughs> Mr. Sullivan. You're as cute as ever. Oh, God. Ew, gross. How's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological value. I feel like I wasn't supposed to give that statue to dude to give to Rick. I feel like I fucked up. Uh, no, no, thank you. It would take a long time. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit anytime. Okay, did I, like, go... Someone is in front of the house. So I, like, could have just gone right there, maybe? Oh, that's... Oh my god, why is there so much talking in this game? I don't remember this much talking. Should have just put this as a blind playthrough. I don't remember this game at all, evidently. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Nolan. Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. Yeah, he's a very close talker, I guess. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. She's 15 and he's 26? Oh, God. I didn't even get a chance to read that well. Uh. Uh. That's it. Both. I don't even know what you said. Yes, both an interview and a date. Ugh, gross. All right, then. Tee hee, let's go. Ugh. Oh, my God. Did this really happen when I played this last time? I do not remember any of this. Ugh. Yeah, normal person. Hi, how are you? This game. Hello, friend. What is your state of being in the day of now? Okay, it's very late. Someone seems to be following me. Let's go into Scandinavia living. Please, someone help me. Why can't I run? Usually if you like double tap, you can run in this game. That's how the first game was. That's why. She's a traumatized 14-year-old who's now 15 and getting hit on by a 26-year-old sleazeball. And also the old library dude, too. The dude at the library was sitting on her, too. What's wrong? Help. Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, bruh. Bruh, no. Oh, bruh. No, 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 bruh. Ma'am, ma'am, run. Ma'am, go in the door. Do we go in the bathrooms? Yes, hide in the bathroom. Is this a place to hide? Well, that dude can't try to hit on me or say anything creepy now. Is that guy, is he leaving? Are you gone? Okay, the music stopped. I'm assuming he's gone. How do you save in this game? Oh, you just, do you have to just save? 
Okay, hold on. Let's save the game. Okay. Let's just save the game just so we can. And then let's see if the game will load. It's going to start at the beginning of that scene, isn't it? Okay. Oh, God. I got to hide again. The bathroom only works once. I feel like the only game I've played where you can like um, use the same thing over and over again, it feels like was Aoni. I feel like most games you can't hide in the same place over and over again. Okay, we're actually finally playing this game. I don't think there's anything in this bathroom. I don't think this game is going to make me scream as much as it probably did the first time I played it. I, so I think in this game, I remember in the second game, there are a few spots that always worked, like like jumping over a table or something like that. There was something with a table. I don't remember what it was. Um, but I remember in the... Um, in, I feel like in this game, there's like a fire extinguisher or something you can use over and over again. Okay, that's like another bathroom. I screamed three times. I feel like I would have screamed a lot more times than that in the first game. It's Ghost Head with the Extinguisher, maybe. I don't really... Like, these games, I played both of them, like like I said, like 10 years ago, and I don't remember either one of them very well. Academic journals on the shelf. These look really boring. Great. Oh, cheesy. Come on, dude. I just got in here. I just got in here. Give me a freaking second, please. Yeah, in the original one, it was in Ghost Head. I definitely, like, killed zombie with a, what do you call it, a uh, fire extinguisher or whatever over and over again. The, um, the one thing I, like I said, the only thing I really remember from the first game... I'm like truly just going down this hallway to see if the thing is down this hallway. Here it is, it's right here. Can I not use it right now? Oh, I guess I can't. Let's try going in this room. Let's try going in this room. I can't do anything. Oh, I have to wait for him to get over here, don't I? Like once he's over here, I can use it. I'm actually nervous because at this point I can't use these doors at all. So I can't really do anything. Unless this, if this doesn't work, I'm boned right now. Like there's like no other, was no other option. Oh. Yeah, that didn't, it didn't let me open either of those doors, so, okay. Good thing I saved the game. How about we don't go that way this time? Oh, but it saved right after. Oh, okay, hold on then. I guess we'll just go way more up the stairs. Black Tower 2 also used a panic button. I don't really remember at this point. These girls treat me like a corn dog. Oh god, I don't even know what that means. I don't know how to respond to that. Can I hide in this bathroom? <laughs> well, we're gonna hide in this bathroom then. So the thing about Nightcry, the thing about Remothered, the thing about, um... What do you call it? Um... And especially like watching Remothered and my playthrough or the playthrough, the stuff I did with Haunting Ground is the thing that always bothered me about those games is that the stalkers just never go away. Like in this game, he at least goes away sometimes. So then you can like look around for a little bit try and find something. Bureau's laboratory. The door is locked. Okay.
Men's Lounge is written on the door. That door is locked. Haunting Ground has no loading zone in constant sewers. Yeah, they never stop. It's really obnoxious. I, I did like half an LP of the game, and then I was like, I hate this, and I'm never playing this again. Bunk beds, no one's using them. Bunk beds for napping. Helen must take naps here when it gets late. Yeah, it's not only that it was tough, but it's not it's like it does. It's not scary if you're just getting like thrown around over and over again. The campus is creepy with everyone gone. I feel like that's not the only reason it's creepy right now, but that's okay. It's over here. Some cosmetics are on the table. There is something written here. You have discovered hint number three. Oh yeah, the hints are like they're they're not. Um, in the start menu or anything. They're not in a menu. The hints are like when you're on the title screen or something like that. And that's all I really remember about the hints. Like they're not, you're not, like you don't use them during the game really. Okay. All right, so there's a locked door up here. There's no map in this game, which I forgot about. It's okay, I guess. And then I did. Did I try this door? This door is locked. This is the bureaus or whatever, right? Okay. Bureaus. Nope. Keep going. Okay. I guess I could be using the elevator, not the stairs. Maybe a guy with a giant pair of scissors is normal at this university. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what they're like. What they like here. A plain, simple table. Personal computers on the table. I'm not very good at computers. <laughs> Me neither. Anyway. I'm not good at computers. How did this get here? There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. Good, weird idea of what, how you repair computers, but okay. A personal computer. I might break it if I touch it. Really? I guess that's like, oh, this computer too. The fighting scissors, that's our mascot. There isn't anything that might be useful. Okay, well, great room. <laughs> I just use the elevator because he's not around. I want to go to the top floor and work all the way down. <gasps> Never mind. Well, we're going to make our way all the way up. It won't. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I'm dead. There's like no way out of here. Like I literally can't. I literally couldn't get out of there. <laughs> Where's it going to start me though? Uh Oh, down the stairs. Let's go down the stairs quickly. Let's go all the way down the stairs, I guess. I know, he stabbed me directly in the toes. Okay, Quentin, not into that. We're about to find out if we can hide in here again. We're dead. Isn't the panic button just mashing the button? What do I do here? 
Just die. Oh, he didn't even kill me. I just like passed out and died. Mashing square. Okay. I think I have my buttons mapped backwards. Oh, uh oh. Uh, that's bad. Because I can't hide in here. Oh god, why is he right here? Okay, that was not square. Scissor Man's not as creepy. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, that's true. I have never seen Quentin Tarantino and Scissor Man at the same place, so. I, I should have really been able to kick him down the stairs, you're right. Okay, let's not go that way because that's not a way to go, really. Oh, why is he this way this time? Okay, I can go in here. I don't know if this is a thing. This is a closet? Oh fuck, the door won't open? That's not cool. Is there anything else in this room? This isn't a door. Oh, can I? Oh, well now I can't do anything. All right, we're gonna learn what button square is. Nope. That didn't work either. I thought that was square. Okay. Right, that's not a place to hide either. Oh, but I'm in here now. That's bad news. I thought I might be able to go into the box. I guess we're gonna find out if he's over this way. Oh, I can't go in there. Well, we're gonna try to see if that box works. I did see like a cursor come up when I was at the box. There. Get in. Sweet. Congrats. Uh oh, did he see me go in? Oh, good. He's gonna leave. Great. Ma'am, don't immediately get out. I. <laughs> there are some tools. Nothing seems useful. This might be useful. Okay, we fi did we finally found something? Oh my god, I finally found something. I finally found an item. All right. Let's save. We finally found an item. Great. Okay. We just solid snaked, so it was good. There must be food crumbs or something. The corner of the box is covered with ants. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything inside. Another box. Nothing strange inside. I want something I can defend myself with. Yep, that's true. But I don't have shit. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Can you stand over? Yeah, stand over here. It's empty. Yeah, okay, I know. I swore I saw, oh, it's just this box again. Okay. All right, so this isn't anything. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Always a huge fan of Enter Room Empty Box as Surprise Scissor Man. I love Surprise Scissor Man. That kind of stuff used to scare me a lot. Remember? Oh my god. Bless my soul. <laughs> I really hope somebody clips that. That was that was on some other level. Guess we're hiding in another bathroom here. 
I don't think we've tried this one yet. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, he was bullied. They just shoved him in a locker. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so... Dynamax Adventures on one screen and my stream on the other sounds amazing. All right, so we're on floor two. We have found an oil can so far. Um, the one thing I'll say about this game is you don't really like lose time when you die. You just have to keep running until you get away, essentially. Did we try this room yet? No. Oh, here's oh here's the Scissor Man mask. Please take. Helen's desk. It's very neatly organized, just like Helen. There's a key. You have now the office key. Great. Beth's desk. There are stuffed animals and a spray can. Spray can of what? Of air? Oh, can of mace. Nice. Did I pick it up? I didn't pick it up. I'm not gonna take the mace. Wow, that's dumb as hell, but okay. Domestic and international criminal records. This is probably a really bad idea. Like, I have a bad feeling about this room. It's open. Oh, I guess I needed to go in here. Oh, no. Uh, who dat? Then Come Susur Toad starts playing. Ha ha. Who is that? Oh, am I dead? Oh, I'm throwing up, okay. But who is it though? I've had it with laying on this bed. What? What? There are many bottles of medicine. This is where the scissors were, but they are not there. A cheap table. I appreciate that many members of my stream have watched uh, Evangelion and knew what I was talking about. Patients' charts are collected here. Is there really nothing to take in this room, though? Really? I'm so surprised there's nothing for me to get in this room. Besides vomit. Really? I can't take this lance or anything? Okay, well. Goodbye then, I guess. Yeah, I, I thought that you would... Oh, can you use the mace if he chases you in here? That's a good question. I've never, like... Maybe. This is Professor Barton's desk. This is, there's a telephone. It's dead. Just like Professor Barton. I'm assuming that's who's dead in there, by the way. That's a good idea, though. I guess if I come back in here, I'll try and use the... If he chases me in here, I'll, I'll use the mace if possible. All right, many cutout articles on the clock tower's case scattered all over it. There's even a picture of me here. There are many files on cases of mental illness. Can I have the mask? I really just want this mask. Danny's desk. There are several trading cards and small toys. Uh, yeah, it might be a fixed evasion trap. I didn't even, I don't, I don't remember it. Who was the lady who had to restore her hard drive? It's probably here. I don't know. It was it was my my roommate or whatever, Helen. Here's let's break. It. Mari Cunis. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. Okay. Emergency exit. It is securely locked. Emergency exit. Yeah, right. Okay, so I need to remember floor two. Oh, what's this say? The blackboard shows the whereabouts of each staff member. 
It says Helen has gone home. Right, that's fair. All right, did we check the end of this hallway yet? Nope. Here he comes. All right, we're gonna see if that mace is an evasion trap. This, this, uh, this music is a bop. Oh, he's already in here? Oh, I guess it's not an evasion trap. I can go in here, though? Huh. Anything in here that I can use? No. I'm just gonna... Wait, can I hide in here? What do I have? Wait, something in here will hurt him? I just hit him in the head with a brick or something? <laughs> okay. Oh, my eyes. That was ammonia. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, man. Well, that was, uh, that was something. Surprised that worked, but okay. There's a lance in the room and she throws a bottle at him. Look, she doesn't know how to use a lance. He threw pee on her. You mean she threw pee on him? But yes. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, we need to continue over to the right side of the hallway. Over this way. I doubt that one will work multiple times, right? Oops, no, get up. I don't even feel like we've made any progress. Like we have an oil can and that's literally it right now. Oh, he was in this room before. The flower pot, there's nothing interesting. Okay, this is all like, it let us look at this before. Is it the case the elevator will always spawn Scissor Man? I hope not. I don't think so, honestly. Oh, so we somehow made progress. The fax tone rings. I'm coming to kill you. Uh, I can't move or do anything right now. like can I can I move what's the fact say get ready I'm coming to get you <laughs> please I'll, give me like a freaking second give me a freaking second here what what are these doing here a pair of underpants is <laughs> to try uh i I pissed my pants, I guess. There's nothing inside that would be useful. The worst date pickup message, that's true. Umbrellas, okay. It's locked. Okay, I'm very worried he's like literally gonna run in here and I'm not gonna be able to get out of here. There are various documents on the desk. Okay, let's do a save real quick before we move on with our lives. I'm surprised he didn't send every word into different facts. Oh my God, that's a good, that's a good, good uh, question. You can, you can send faxes from email. So maybe he emailed a fax. There's no sign of anyone. Hello, you have reached Helen. I'm not home right now. But please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Beep? No beep? Okay. Okay, so chat thinks that the flower pot might be a distraction or like a way of stopping him, which is a good point. Maybe we'll try that. Did we look at this before? There are small shoe prints on the sofa. From like a child, maybe? Who's Lori Anderson? I don't even know who that is. Hello? Why didn't she run? 
like in Superman, huh? I don't remember the movie Superman. I don't know if I've ever seen it. I don't want to actually go in there. I want to go in here. Oh, Superman is a song. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, here's this room. We already were in here. A plain simple table. Okay. It was in that one Black Mirror episode that had different endings. I don't... I watched that. I do not remember at all. Okay, this is Fiora's laboratory, and I can't get in... Oh, I can't get in this door. Now I'm, like, walking in circles. Um, what could I do with an oil can? What could I do with an oil can? It's the only thing I've found so far. Why can't I go in the men's lounge? That's bullshit. Already we're in here too. Yeah, like this is all a bunch of stuff we've already looked at. Oh, Clue is like one of my favorite movies. I feel like it's many LGBT people love that movie. It's like very, very um, camp and really good. Love that movie. I guess I'm going to go back downstairs. Isn't this the, the highest level? Like I can't go up. Uh, I can't go through the store, right? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just a window I can look out? Oh, God, he's going to jump at me. Okay, outside the window looks like the rear entrance to the university. Oh, something here too. An emergency ladder. It looks like a fire ladder. It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. Great. Okay, that will not open. All right. Okay, um... Guess we go back down to the first floor again? The second floor is where... Is this the floor where the... Oh no, the third floor is where the plant is, right? So what is this door again? No, oh, no, this is where the plant is. Okay, so we're on the second floor. We're on the yeah. This place would not pass fire inspection. You can't have emergency things that you lock up. You have to let people use the emergency stuff. Oh, also yes, Tim Tim Curry is phenomenal. Okay, we're just going to look around on the first floor again. If anything goes haywire, we're going to try and run upstairs. We're going to try and run over and get the stuff that's on the first floor or the second floor. Is this the door? I don't think so. Okay, this is though. We haven't gone in here yet, I don't think. Oh, hello? Are you dead? Excuse me. You're dead, aren't you? Of course. That was scary. Let's get a snack. Uh-oh, what is this? That scared me. Okay. <laughs> His torso said wig. Yeah, that was the most wig that's ever wigged. There's a key on the table. What is this? You Now you have the ladder key. Oh! Okay. A sofa probably used for naps. There's a blanket with blood stains on it. Great. Anything else before I leave this spot? Huh. The telephone is dead. Really unsurprising. Let's look at the dead body again. 
Okay. All right. So we're on the first floor. We have the ladder key now. He's going to come at us. I guarantee. Front entrance door. What's going on? It doesn't even budge. Okay. I don't, it's okay. It's so funny that you were talking about the space capitalism thing. Cause RBW was talking about that earlier in another stream. Um, that is one of the ultimate Tim Curry moments. He can't be up here because he literally couldn't get up here because this door doesn't open. Um, please do this. Why isn't it letting me select this? Hey game, why? Why can't I select these things to leave? I don't understand. I like can't select anything up here. Like I'm just gonna get killed because I can't select anything. Uh, ma'am, please. Go down the stairs? Thanks. I don't know where he is, like at all. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, okay. We have, yes, we have multiple slides in chat today. <laughs> All right. So. We have the key anyway. Okay, so really. Is he going to immediately chase me? When I get up here. No. An emergency ladder? It looks like a fire ladder. It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency. I have the key. Oh, I actually have to, like, click on it? <laughs> okay. From way up here, is it safe? I don't know. I'm probably gonna die. Ooh. Is it, is it safe? What a breathing noise. Uh-oh. This feels like bad end. Oh, I'm not playing. I was like, am I playing? Female grunt one dot wave. Yes, 100%. Oh, I did it. 